Ayabi's end-to-end -end capability is starting at the place and the populations that are at need of an HIV vaccine. Understanding them and designing a product that would work for them, that would be acceptable for them, and that they will embrace when it becomes available. Ayavi is a special organization in the sense that we have a very pragmatic end-to-end -end or full-circle approach. I guess you can summarize it in we want to develop not only a vaccine for Africa, you know, the, the largest population that needs an HIV vaccine, but we're also developing it with Africa. So we do a lot of studies in Africa where we look at who is getting infected, what does the virus look like that's circulating in those populations, so that we can deliver a vaccine that's tailored towards the epidemic in Africa. I think it's really about that whomever is going to be ultimately receiving the HIV vaccine, that they also have ownership of it and feel like they were very much a part of developing it. That it's not just, you know, Americans coming in and being like, oh, we did all this research, here's your HIV vaccine. That it's been a more collaborative relationship throughout the whole course of it. And also it is critical to have science where African scientists are participating. They have a unique perspective of what is needed in that population. And they also have a unique perspective of communicating and talking to and engaging the stakeholders around them. Leaving Africa out where a huge burden of HIV exists would actually weaken the pursuit of an effective vaccine.